Hello, YouTube. This is the one and only Mr. Toad giving you the first Bulldog Backy review. Uh, today's blend is Cornell and Deal's Junkyard Dog. Um, before I go any further, I have a three-step method at which I review blends. Um, it has to smoke well in my bulldog, it has to smoke well in a cob, and it has to smoke well in a briar. Uh, the difference is, is I've got a bunch of varying briars. Uh, I've had some blends that smoke just awesome in one briar, and then mild as hell in the other. So, pipes are temperamental, much like people. Every pipe has its own personality, but I digress. Okay, getting into Junkyard Dog. With a name like Junkyard Dog, you would expect something harsh, something that will reach out and bite you. Quite the contrary. Um... If Sir Walter Riley and Half and Half had a love child, it would be Cornell and Deal's Junkyard Dog. It is a great summer blend. Um, in Oklahoma, it can get 95 degrees in the middle of the day. I can sit outside with a bowl of Junkyard Dog and relax. It's not heavy. There is Latakia in it. There is Virginia. But it's a burly based blend. The dry puff before you light the pipe. Molasses, wheat, just uh, an awesome taste. It, it tastes the sweetness you get from molasses. That is what I taste. That's what it smells like in the tin. That's what it tastes like dry puffing it. You get the nuttiness of the burley. Uh, the, the, the sweetness of the Virginia comes in and out. There's enough Latakia in there to know it's there. But you will not get a buzz off the Latakia. Uh, it's kind of like um, when you come in on a cold day and you pour yourself a shot of whiskey. That warming feeling that you get when the whiskey enters your body. That is what the Latakia in Junkyard Dog does. It's like seeing an old friend, you know, hey, I'm here. I'm cool, I'll hang, but it doesn't take over the party. Uh, I would recommend this blend. Anybody that's curious about Burley blends, Junkyard Dog is your blend. Because it's not too strong, it's not too weak, it's that pinnacle of... The perfect blend. Um, the tin I got was tinned in December. So I'm going to jar it, cellar it. We will revisit it later down the road. If I can keep my, if I can keep from smoking it all up now, we will revisit it down the road and see how it improves. Because Cornell and Deal uses fresh tobacco, so how it tastes now... It may not taste the same six months from now. So, around December, we'll probably revisit it when it hits a year old. But, all in all, it's a, it's a good blend. Um, it's one I can sit and puff on all day long. It's, a, it's an all-day smoker. Just all-day smoker. Uh... It won't cause your pipe to get hot. 
uh, you can just handle your pipe. I, I'm a fast smoker, and I, I, the second bowl in this, I put it through its paces, just hard and fast, and never got above a, never got hot. It got warm, but not hot. Um, the same way with the cob, the flavors, they, they stay all the way through. So for those of you that like Burley or those of you that are interested in Burley, pick up a tin of Cornell and Deal's Junkyard Dog. You won't regret it.